The Philippine Air Force PAF, is indeed facing significant decisions regarding its future air defense capabilities, particularly with the potential acquisition of advanced fighter jets like the Gripen. Despite challenges, the PAF's optimism and commitment to enhancing its capabilities are evident. Saab's proposal for a mix of Gripen C and Gripen F aircraft seemed to align well with the budget constraints faced by the Philippine government, offering a balance between cost-effectiveness and advanced capabilities. The inclusion of two-seater variants could further enhance the PAF's operational flexibility, catering to various mission requirements, including training and strike missions. Saab's assurance of compatibility and interoperability between older Gripen variants and the newer ones is crucial, ensuring seamless integration and utilization of the aircraft in the PAF's fleet. This commitment underscores Saab's dedication to meeting the PAF's needs and requirements, despite potential uncertainties stemming from other deals. However, the Philippine government remains focused on ensuring both the quantity and timely delivery of the aircraft. If the deal with Saab encounters obstacles, the government is prepared to explore alternative options, keeping the country's national defense interests at the forefront. The decision-making process within the Department of National Defense DND, and the PAF involves careful consideration of various factors, including technical specifications, costs, strategic alignment, and industrial offsets. These deliberations aim to secure the best outcome for the country's defense capabilities while navigating budgetary constraints and geopolitical dynamics. Saab believes that opting for 10 Gripen Cs and 4 Gripen Fs could be the best choice for the Philippine Air Force, as it allows them to utilize the final 10 semi-built Gripens in storage while also introducing the newer Gripen F variant. This selection balances cost considerations, as the C and D variants are less expensive than the E and F variants, aligning with the budget constraints of the Philippine government. Tandem or two-seater fighter aircraft serve various functions, including training and strike missions. They can carry extra fuel and payload for longer strike missions and can also be configured for electronic warfare roles. Saab's Gripen with the Orexis electronic warfare suite could fulfill such roles effectively, given its capabilities demonstrated through the German Air Force's selection for Typhoon conversions. The possibility of the older Gripen C and newer Gripen F working flawlessly together is affirmed by Saab's contract for upgrade works on the Swedish Air Force's Gripen C D variants, intended to enhance interoperability with the Gripen E and F. Saab intends to extend these upgrade works to the Gripens acquired by the Philippine Air Force, demonstrating their commitment to ensuring compatibility across variants. Despite uncertainties arising from other deals, such as the Hungary Gripen deal, Saab remains confident in fulfilling its commitments to the multi-role fighter acquisition program with the Philippine government. However, the Philippine Department of National Defense DND, prioritizes both the quantity and timely delivery of aircraft. If the deal with Saab were to fall through, the Philippine government would explore alternative options, potentially benefiting other aerospace manufacturers. As the Philippines weighs its options, key stakeholders within the Department of National Defense DND, and the PAF are engaged in a rigorous decision-making process. Factors such as technical specifications, life cycle costs, strategic alignment, and industrial offsets are carefully evaluated to ensure the optimal outcome for national defense. Ultimately, whether the PAF opts for the Gripen or alternative options like the Viper, the decision will significantly shape its future role in safeguarding the Philippines' skies and interests in the Asia-Pacific region.
The government's commitment to equipping the PAF with the necessary capabilities underscores its dedication to ensuring the country's security and sovereignty amidst evolving regional challenges.